Prince Harry went out and, and saw those soldiers and, and spoke to them, and the problem went away. When I was serving in the army, I was openly gay. And um, in 2008, while we were working together, um, I had got myself into a, a bit of a situation with some, some, some soldiers from another regiment. And uh, essentially, they, they didn't like the fact that I was gay and they had a problem about it. And they were sort of chest poking me and making me feel quite uncomfortable, shall we say. Um, I got into my tank, uh, if you could imagine, where Prince Harry was doing something. And he, he could see that I was clearly affected by something and he asked me what the problem was. I told him that there were a couple of soldiers outside who weren't very happy with the fact that I was gay. So um, quite um, offended that his gunner was being picked on by these people, um, Prince Harry went out and, and saw those soldiers and, and spoke to them and, and the problem went away. He, he told them off and uh, they left me alone. Prince Harry was well liked and that's not, not something you can say about every officer that you work with. He was good, I think is the first thing to say. He knew how to do his job. Um, he was skilled in the different roles that he was, was faced with. He took the time to know his people. He wasn't afraid to get himself to involved with, with things that were going on, whether it be a game of football or whether it was, um, I seem to remember, um, one, of, one of the nights when we were in Canada, it was one of the boys' birthday. And we all went out to have a, a, a steak dinner and a a lot of beer and Prince Harry came with us and put himself in the middle of that situation and it and it was natural as well it didn't seem to be a forced thing it wasn't uncomfortable we weren't being careful what we said because Prince Harry was with us he was able to just Im embed himself into into our community because he was one of us if I'm honest I wasn't surprised um, I think back to when he was serving with us um, in the household cavalry and I remember how at ease he was in the uniform, perhaps away from his other, his other life. And of course, that, that's, there's nothing special about Prince Harry in that respect. A lot of people come to the military as some sort of um, escapism, perhaps. And, and, and I think the same might be true with him. But, but I, certainly, I certainly could tell that while he was with soldiers, it, it, it was something new for him, something away from what he was used to. And I think he, he loved his time with, with the army. I think he will keep a close bond with the, with the military, yes. I think the work he does with veterans and injured veterans through things like Invictus is really important and he's well respected for it within the community, the armed forces community and outside it. I think the bond that exists between Prince Harry and, and the armed forces is so strong that um, I, I'm absolutely certain his, his, his role and his relationship with the military will continue. Well, I mean, he's a very smart man. He's an intelligent man. Um, he's got a family to look after. Um, I know that he's protective of people he cares about. So I, I think he will, I think he'll be okay. So I have no doubt that, that whatever he goes off to do, whether it be um, public or, or, or private, I think he'll be successful at it. Uh, I just hope he doesn't go, go away for too long. And, and we, you know, he, he keeps in touch, particularly with the armed forces. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.